This is hydrogen tap. Well, the sun's finally coming out and be able to get a lot more work done outside. There's the focus again. And I'm loose again. I guess I'm going to have to re-evaluate the seal system. And that's loose also. What really burns me up is I'm losing the hydrogen that way. And uh, it's really a simple fix. I'm just not going to play with the seal once I get it in here again. I'm just going to glue the top to the bottom, take it apart when I need to. I can get another kind of seal. I know that will work for this, but I just don't have time to fool around with it. And uh, the cell is working so well anyway that I don't have to get into it right away. So uh, what I'm going to do is take it out today and uh, we're going to go through a post-mortem. going to take it apart and examine the cell and see how it's reacting or what it's done. Everything else seems to be fine. So I'll be taking it apart in the lab and uh, I'll take it piece by piece and we'll examine it. Uh, I, can, I can see that the water in there is kind of a rusty looking but it's not the same kind of garbage that uh, we found when we used tap water and it's very very light. It doesn't really hurt it at all. I'm not worried about that. Everything else obviously is working fine. So what I'll be doing today is taking it out, although I hate to lose some mileage on the car. Uh, it's getting so I'm laughing at everybody else as they go by. I go by the gas station and they have to go in the gas station. But it's time we do that and see what's going on and I'm going to make a few adjustments to the cell. But the main thing is I want to see the cell and see what's happening on the inside. One thing I want to take a look at while we're out here is the inside of the air filter. And I'll take a quick look at that. Everything looks fine, no problem there. What we're looking at here is the air intake, the butterfly there. You see if there's any problems or any muck in there and everything looks fine. Of course the filter is over this so there really shouldn't be any problem with that at all. All this stuff you see here is tape where other future experiments I've worked on here and taped things in. I glued them. You can see uh, one of the sensors here. And here's the other port that I make use of from time to time that bypasses the air filter. I may go ahead and use that later. It's a little better view of the cell. Extra line that I've got that I wire to this. And 
this is the water sensor everyone keeps asking me about. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm measuring voltage between this sensor or the screw here which touches the water in the positive end of the battery. If there's water in there the electrolyte makes a conducting bridge across and that goes to my relay which turns on the green light. When that doesn't happen the relay opens up and I get a red light. This is where my fill port one thing I want you to notice on the focus cells now that I'm shipping, I have a port that's this angle and one up. And the reason for that is that when you close the hood on the car or wherever you put it, putting this hose to it is hard coming up from the top. So all my new focus cells have the angle on one of them and the straight up on the other. There will be some modifications from now, now and again. Everything else looks just fine. No leaks, no anything, everything. Focus cell is working really great. I'm very pleased with it. This connection here I'm not too happy with, but... I've got all my electrical leads going back to the battery. There's a good reason for that. I, because I'm using so much current, I want to make use. I want it to go right to the battery and not over any other wires that happen to be used by the car. One of the things, or one of the One of my smart people that are watching this emails me mentioned something that was really right. I can see that. You can see here that there is some of the water that came from the cell just before the bubbler. And that is because there's a drain factor in here. When you turn it off, if, if, the, if it's hot, then the water gets sucked back up this tube. Back and forth is what's going on. It doesn't affect anything. Uh, what's happening is in the bubbler gets, gets some of the hydrogen water. But other than that, that doesn't doesn't cause any problems whatsoever. If you do notice, 